Right, hi, my name is Alex. I have lived in China for eight years now. Uh, I live here in this house behind me with my wife and my two sons. Um, bought this house uh, about five, six years ago maybe. Great deal at the time, really increased in value now, so that is great. And today I am gonna show you all around this house. Disclaimer, it is quite small and I do have two children, so you will see a lot of stuff which might look a little overcrowded. Also, another disclaimer, it isn't always this tidy when you have two children. If you're a parent, you will know. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so like I said, this isn't the biggest house of all time. In fact, we actually bought purposely a little bit smaller because they are easier to sell on later. Uh, we are gonna be upgrading to another house uh, in a short while, actually. But uh, you can see behind me, here is uh, what is essentially, I'm stood in what is the dining room, and behind me is the, the lounge area, and then Right behind that is the balcony. So with this house being uh, not the biggest house, it's actually 100 square meters. So we have to make important choices to use the space as wisely as possible. You can see behind me here, uh, we have all of the these cupboards and most of the cupboards in the entire house, well, all of them actually, uh, entirely custom made so that they use the space as efficiently as possible. Even the table I'm on now, uh, it folds down. Just to the right of the door as you come in, we have the kitchen. Now the kitchen, although being small, is actually really well used and it, although it is small, it doesn't feel small. We have like, you know, the sink is here, and um, you have your regular hobs over here and an extractor, it's pretty much standard. Uh, one thing I am quite pleased with, which I insisted when we moved into this house, if you I look down here, is the Western oven. This is a full-size, uh, proper Western oven, because this is something which provides that little touch from back home. Okay, so two essential things for the kitchen here, at least for me, uh, which I use on a daily basis is this electric coffee grinder over here and this coffee machine over here. Uh, there's nothing like an espresso or a latte freshly made in the morning to, to just to really kickstart your day. Okay, this living room is pretty much as you would imagine every living room. Super comfortable couch here. Uh, it's, it's three meters. It's got this big kind of bed section on one side. It's, it's pretty comfortable. It accommodates enough for our family and when the, the in-laws around, uh, there's enough places for people to sit. And if we have friends around, also perfectly well enough, especially with the chairs in the dining room as well, if you happen to have a lot of people around. Okay, so out here we have the balcony. The balcony just connects by these two huge sliding doors right next to the sofa. Um, initially, this was all open. We had it glassed in, but we do keep the, the windows all slide open. Over here behind me, Western style uh, washing machine. It uh, holds a lot more clothes and it's once again, the, some of the things that I wanted that make it feel a bit like being back home. So at the opposite end of the balcony, opposite the washing machine, we have this nice little comfortable chair and just a table for the boys that you can usually be dragged into the middle and you know, they can do arts and crafts and stuff. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so turning left from where you just last saw me, we have the bedroom which we use for the boys. You can see in the very, very back there is a cot. It is more used as storage now because neither of them are babies and we haven't got around to get rid of it yet. And here we have a double bed. The double bed is because sometimes both boys sleep in here. Sometimes it's easier to get one of them to sleep by lying with them. So this with the fence just allows that to happen. It's, you know, pretty standard parenting stuff. Straight along at the end of the corridor, master bedroom on this side, you can see behind there in the in the back little corner bit there, there is also the ensuite bathroom, which we actually use as the boys showering room because you know, that's just how we've kind of arranged it. Over here on um, to my left, we have the other bathroom, which is the one me and my wife use. And just here over to the left, my left and behind is the office, which is basically my man cave, my editing room, and where I spend all of my time editing videos. 
So, onto the bathroom, nothing really special. Toilet, shower, sink, mirror, all the usual stuff. So master bedroom is, we're trying to keep it as simple as possible, nice big bed, pretty simple decoration, more cupboards over here. And the best thing is if you lie on the bed and you have these curtains open in the morning, you have this fantastic view of the mountains and the wetlands, which is all over out here. So you can see here, the shower and the toilet are inside behind this door with this mirrored door which slides backwards and forwards and then the sink and everything is outside. So actually, this to me seemed a little strange at first when I bought the house but after a while it makes perfect sense because people can be using the bathroom but people also can be using the sink at the same time and you don't get in each other's way. When you've got a family of four and everybody's busy doing something, this is quite useful. Right, so I saved the best for last. This is my man cave, my office. It's small but it has all of the stuff I want, my computer for editing, all my computer stuff, my lenses, my, com my cameras, the, my favorite camera being the one I'm shooting on now, the Sony a7S III. Uh, come in and have a quick look. Like I said, this is my favorite place in the world. It has all my camera equipment, my computer for editing when I've been out shooting. Uh, I love to spend a lot of time in here. Um, I can just kind of be at peace and just get down to some nice editing. Okay, so one of the reasons I really love this house is wooden floors and we've got some marble floors over here but the point is I've grown up with these kind of floors my entire life I've always had tiled floors wooden floors and a few carpeted floors but I like these kind of style it, in summer it feels kind of nicer and um, cooler on your feet and it's just nice it, it wipes up easily doesn't get stained like a carpet but there is a downside to this and the downside is that wooden floors and marbled floors show up the like little particles of dirt any kind of like fluff or anything like that shows up on these super easy so it means you have to clean it quite a lot. So a great solution to this is this, the Dreamy T30. It is an absolutely fantastic vacuum. You can see that it's hard to get this thing, the whole thing in the shop because it is so long and that means that you can stand quite comfortably like I am now and uh, vacuum without having to bend over, cracking for the back. Um, <laughs> I'm not the youngest youngest guy in the world and so not bend it over, fantastic. Also, this thing has like a 150,000 RPM motor, which means the suction on it is crazy and you can change the suction. There's like eco, medium and like the high setting. The high setting is fantastic because it will just clean anything straight off the floor. Now you can see here as well, this rolling head rolls across the floor and it, these little like things on the bottom, they just, they just work. I don't know how they work. I'm, I'm not sure of the technology, but they just work. They, they kind of, anything that goes anywhere near it, it if it slightly doesn't want to just get sucked straight in by the massive suction power, maybe it's slightly sticky, it's stuck to the floor, this thing will whip it straight up and then it gets sucked into the vacuum. Absolutely perfect. And the best thing is, it's not just available in the tour mode. So with space in mind, adaptability and being able to break this vacuum down into a much smaller, more compact thing is an absolutely, Unreal feature, it is just fantastic. You see, uh, if I wanted to hoover the sofas, for example, I'd need, and I had that long pipe, I'd have to stand right up. But actually, with this one, you can change that long pipe and just put the smaller head on, look, and then, it's as easy as that. You, you, you within less than 20 seconds, you've swapped the head out and got this smaller head on, you can hoover the, the sofas, you can hoover the bed. Hoovering sofas and beds and all these sort of things when you have children is an absolute game changer because there's a lot of spills and a lot of times that stuff gets dirty and you really need this. So as far as accessories go, this one is great. But if the head's too big, there is more than enough accessories that I can barely hold my hands. We have a couple of little pipes. These are super useful for getting in tight spaces. Put them on there, bend it round. Still sucks. But you can bend it. Little thin pokey thing, not sure what you call this, but this is fantastic for down between the sofa cushions, down the sides of places where you wouldn't normally be able to get. Like over here, I have some like a small area and I can just put this in, clean out all the dust, no problem. And then a selection of brushes. Sometimes there's an area where you don't want to be touching it with a bit of hard plastic and a little brush on the end there makes it super nice, doesn't damage anything, and it brushes up the dust. So this is great for getting in between the sliding doors, for example. That 
these little brush that knocks up all the dust because it helps brush it up and sucks it up at the same time and it's nice and narrow. Great job. Okay, so that's pretty much it from me. Big thanks to Dreamy for um, this whole situation. It's been fantastic. I don't normally give any of the products that people send me a second thought, but this one is something I actually would use and I genuinely find really useful. Whether you like it or not, you will end up using this every day. It's just one of those things. It's an everyday use item that makes your life that much better, especially if you have kids. So yeah, thanks again. Peace.